Hello folks, so this is uh, 2022 May June paper 13 and the question number is 10 and this question is concerned with the chapter kinematics or you can say forces as well because it is concerned with the several forces here. So it says a person standing on the edge of a high cliff that is next to the sea. Yes, stands. The person throws a stone vertically upward ever since acts on the stone. So this is the edge of the cliff let us say. The person throws a stone like this, like this, and this thing will ultimately come back and it will hit the sea like this, like this. And it says that there is air resistance. So we have to take care of the fact that there is air resistance here. Which velocity time graph best shows the motion of the stone from when it is released until it is the sea? So we have to find the VT graph. One thing that we have to remember is that when it reaches here, V becomes zero because the body stops for a moment. V has to become zero. So that's why going through these three graphs, this thing is incorrect because here V is never zero. It just becomes zero at the very last. Last here, it is not zero until it strikes here. So that's why it has to be zero somewhere here. So not zero here. So that's why this is incorrect. The next is since there is a resistance, air resistance uh, there will be opposing force this opposing force depends on the velocity of velocity maybe v to power n let us say it could be v it could be v square or something else like that so since v changes opposing force changes since v changes opposing force changes and if this changes the resultant force changes the resultant force changes so this is equal to sometimes it could be mg minus f o or sometimes it could be f o minus m g or sometimes it could be f o plus m g so whatever we have uh, if v changes f o changes and that's why f resultant changes and if this changes a changes if this changes a changes and a change means slope of vt graph changes a change means a means slope of vt graph so it must change so that's why here the slope is constant constant so this thing is incorrect so the slope should change so here slope changes and here two slope changes so these two are the choices remaining with us now what happens here is here v is in upward direction and here v is in negative direction upward and downward so if upward is taken as positive as it happens here happens here this should be negative this should go like this like this so it doesn't happen here if this is positive this should be negative not happening here if this is negative it should be positive because here is zero negative positive so negative and then positive so this fulfills the criteria so that's why choice b should be correct and this is incorrect so let me re re repeat that once again this is zero if this is positive this should be negative so positive should be negative it is not happening not correct if this is negative it should be positive so negative zero and then positive so that's why this thing is correct and so choice number b is the correct choice